A very good morning, students. Welcome you all to the maths class. So, students, in our today's class, uh, we are going to learn a new topic: application of operations. All right, from chapter four, that is multiplication. Clear? So, children, in the last class, we have learned that how to multiply two-digit number by two-digit number, and how to multiply three-digit number by three-digit number. So, so many examples. Now here we will see application of operation. That means we are going to solve word problems of mixed operations. So mixed operations, mixed operations is addition, subtraction, and multiplication together. Division is also there but we have not started division. So in this addition, subtraction of, uh, and multiplication. Mixed operation. What problems of mixed operation? So sometimes what happens when solving problems? We have to apply two different operations. Yes, two different operations together. So now we will understand this concept. Yes, and if we will understand this concept, I'll show you two examples. Alright, so that we will be able to solve what problems of mixed operations. Okay, children. So let us take first example. So children, see here question number one. Yes, uh, we will do this to understand the concept of application of operations. Now, see here the question. Vandana has 15 baskets of marigold flowers. Vandana has how many baskets of marigold flowers? 15 baskets of marigold flowers. Each basket contains 48 flowers. She used 324 flowers to make garlands. To make garlands. How many flowers are left with her? So, Bandana has 15 baskets of marigold flowers. Alright. Each basket, one basket contains 48 flowers. So, first, you have to find out what? First, you have to find out how many flowers are there in 15 baskets. Because Bandana has 15 baskets of marigold flowers. Each basket contains 48 flowers. One basket contains how many flowers? 48. So how many flowers are there in 15 baskets? To find out number of flowers in 15 baskets, you have to do what? Multiplication. Now next you see what is given. She used 324 flowers to make garlands. Once we get the number of flowers in 15 baskets, what is given next part? From there, she used 324 flowers to make garlands. How many flowers are left with her? To find out this, what we have to do? Let's see here. Number of baskets. Number of baskets. 15. Number of flowers in one basket. Number of flowers in one basket. Each basket is, we call it one basket. Yes, how many flowers are there? 48 flowers. Therefore, number of flowers. Number of flowers in 15 baskets. How to find out? Here what? What you will do? To find number of flowers in 15 baskets, you have to multiply this. Yes, 48 flowers multiplied by 15 baskets. Okay, you have to do multiplication. Alright, 5 into 8. 40. 4 will be carried over. 
5 into 4, 20, plus carry 4, 24. Then you start multiplication from 1. 1 into 8, you will write below the tens fits. 8, here 0. 1 into 4, 4. Now you add it up. 0, 8 plus 4, 12. Carry 1. 4 plus 2, 6, 7, 720. How many flowers are there in 15 baskets? 720 flowers. Alright. Now you see next part what is given here. See, use 324 flowers to make gardens. First, now we got how many flowers are there? Total flowers. Total flowers are 720. Alright. From there, what Bhagavan did? She used 324 flowers to make garden. So now what we will do? We will subtract it. Alright. 720 minus 324. Okay. 100 tens ones. So we cannot subtract 4 from 0. So we need to borrow from the nearest place, that is tens place. 10 minus 4, 6. 1, 10 we borrow. What left here? 1. Again, we will borrow from nearest place. Then 11. 11 minus 2, 9. What left here? 6. Place. 600 left. 6 minus 3, 3. So, how many flowers are left with her? How many flowers are left with her? Yes? We have four. 396 flowers. 396 flowers are left. With her. With her or you can write Bandha. Okay? So here see, two operations used. First one is multiplication. After that here what? Subtraction. So this is the word problem of mixed operation. Here is multiplication and here is subtraction. So two operation is used in this word problem. Okay? So this is our topic, application of operation. Yes? So now you will be able to solve what problems with mix operation? First question asked, you have to find out number of flowers in 15 baskets. How many flowers are there in one basket is given? From there you have to find out number of flowers in 15 baskets. You have to calculate. We got the answer 720. Total 720 flowers. From there she used 324 flowers to make garlands. So how many flowers are left with her? 396 flowers are left with her. Alright? So this way you have to do. Now let's take one more example uh, for the topic application of operations. Alright? So children will say question number 2. Right? So what is given in the question number 2? The cost of a thermos flask. Where you put hot water. Okay? Thermos flask. The cost of a thermos flask is rupees 543. Price of a thermos flask is how much? Rupees 543. Rakesh bought five such flasks. Then he gave rupees 3000 rupees 3000 to the shopkeeper. How much money did he get back? At first, what is given? The cost of uh, one thermos flask. How much? It is 543. Rakesh bought five such thermos flask. Rakesh bought how many uh, such th uh, thermos flask? Five. He gave rupees 3000 to the shopkeeper. How much money did he get back? So, to find out how much money did he get back, first we have to find out what? 
the price of five such flask price of five thermos flask okay so see here cost of one thermos flask is how much is equal to rupees 543 here for the cost of five such thermos flask will be how you will find out equal to rupees 543 into 5 543 is the price of one flask and 5 is the number of flask that rack is bought all right you will find out now Hundred times once we will find out the price of five such thermos flask. Five hundred forty-three multiplied by five. Then we will get the price of five such thermos flask. So five into three fifty. Okay, carry one. Five into four twenty plus one twenty-one. Two carry over here two hundred space. Five into five twenty-five plus two twenty-seven. So the price of five thermos flask is rupees two thousand seven hundred and fifty. Now, what rank is it? He gave rupees three thousand to the shopkeeper. Okay. See here, one thermos flask price is five hundred forty-three. He bought five such flask. Price how much? Two thousand seven hundred fifty. But he gave rupees three thousand to the shopkeeper. All right. How much money did he get back? He gave more or not? He gave more to the shopkeeper. Now, what you have to find out how much money you will get back from the shopkeeper. So, how you will find out this? Price of the five thermos flask will be subtracted from rupees three thousand. The total amount he gave to the shopkeeper. So, your first operation you have done what? First operation you have done multiplication. Now, how much money did he get back to find out that? You have to do the subtraction. How much he gave to the shopkeeper? Rupees 3000. What is the price of 5000 thermos plus? Rupees 2750. Now you need to subtract. Tens, ones. So we cannot subtract 5 from 0. We have to borrow it from the nearest place. Then here is 0, then here also 0. So we will borrow it from 1000 place. Then it becomes bigger number 10. 10 minus 5, 5. Yes. So from 1000 place we, we borrow 1200 place. Then from 100 place we borrow 110 to 10 place. Yes. Then we borrow it to 1 place. Now you have how much left? The tens place 9. 9 minus 1, 8. Okay, 9 minus 7. 100 place also left 9. 2. So you have how much left? 2. So 2 minus 2, 0. So that means how much you will get back? How much money did you get back? Yes? Rakesh got rupees 285 back from the shopkeeper. Alright. So Rakesh therefore Rakesh got rupees 285 back from the shopkeeper. The shopkeeper. So here you see. First part to find the price of five flags. You have done which operation? Multiplication. Then the second part. After doing multiplication, you got to be two thousand seven hundred fifteen price of five thousand. 
Second part, what given he gave rupees 3000 to the shopkeeper. He means rakish. So how much money did he get back? So to find out this, you have to subtract the total amount he gave to the shopkeeper minus the price of the 5 thousand rupees. So 3000 minus 2750. Here you have that subtraction. How much left? How much you will get? Rakesh. Yeah, I got back. Rakesh got to rupees 285 back from the shopkeeper. Yes? How much? Rakesh got rupees 285 back from the shopkeeper. So, I have shown you two examples. Alright? Application of operations. Okay, children? So, we have completed our topic, uh, the chapter. Now, revision exercises, you will do it. I have shown you all one one example. Live class also, in my, rec my recorded class also. Yes, now you complete the revision exercise questions. Right, children? Yes, and these are the questions I have taken from exercise 4F. Go through it, then you will complete it in your Maths. Yeah, thank you.